Alright guys, people world everywhere, wherever, whoever, whatever. Anyway, that fast 719 back at it. Coming at you with another video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave brake boost the brake master cylinder, clutch master cylinder, the wiring I think I'm gonna leave there. Um what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to disconnect this steering shaft and drop it down. Take that O2 sensor out and uh, start taking this exhaust manifold off. It's just uh, six, seven, eight bolts. So two, four, six, and then there's only two uh, collector bolts. So I'm going to take those off, take everything off. I'm going to take this bracket off. Um, and I hope I don't have to take... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to find out. Find a way. I might have to take this off. One of these off. Either one of the tubes either on this side or that side Oh jeez because I want to get this thing ready so when I do get the headers I just slap that junk on and call it a day so it looks like this one I just need to disconnect here um, there's probably some type of bracket on the back holding it but it only looks like it just goes into the front here so I'll probably take it off there and then same on the other side I'll take it off there that way I can leave oh, I can leave this pipe on and leave the pipe that goes behind the engine leave that pipe on so um I gotta see I guess I gotta take that okay it looks like I just gotta take a nut off back there Wish I had a good flashlight. I guess I'm not going to take this Harbor Freight flashlight back, back, flashlight, back. So, it looks like I'll probably be using it. Oh, jeez. Button's already sticking. Anyway. So, got to get that nut off right there. This nut, that nut, that bolt, that, that bolt, 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 bolt. Anyway. I don't know. I guess it's a good flashlight, but it just sucks that the button doesn't work that good. So, anywho, I'm going to go ahead and grab some tools, set you guys up on the tripod, and uh, just take these exhaust manifolds off, I guess. Um, hopefully I can get to these bolts down here, like I said, O2 sensor, that side, white pipe, come down, it's time to get dirty, I need to get some, to get some work done, um, I'm gonna go with this tripod, look at that tripod, oh, I don't like that tripod, so, also wanted to bring out that when I, I'll have to check everything once I replace the ball joints and everything. But, let's see this light. If you can, uh, this side's not that bad. But the other side, this axle is like almost about ready to fall out. Uh, I'll show you. So, you see down in there, the little uh, axle thing right there that thing's about to come out so which means just means that I can't go any lower I cannot I can't go any lower unless I uh, uh, raise that diff I guess I'd have to somehow bring that diff up and I don't see that happening at all we're already too tight as it is. I don't know what that hose is for. Oh, it looks like it's just 
piece of hose just laying in there. Oh, it's probably for this. Looks like it's for that, maybe. I don't know. Um, or it could be for the vacuum or the...
Look at all that restriction. I'll do a comparison once I get the headers, but it's a real thin line right there. Anyway, got this side out. That was only a pain. <clears throat> so, what happens when you have these old vehicles? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tear off the other side. Let's see inside here. And yeah, also the ports don't look that bad. So take you guys off the tripod real quick, show you what I had to do. Alright guys, my biggest problem was that bolt so that bolt right there that holds this whole bracket on well there's another bolt back there that I won't be able to get off and I wouldn't get the bracket off because it's right up against the engine so anyway I had to put it back on that's why I ended up cutting cutting this bracket and I think I would have had to have cut it anyway because of the headers so anywho we go there's a better look down in there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll just take off the other side I think the other side's gonna be a lot easier I'll do that off camera the only difference is I'm gonna unbolt the collector down there first because the uh, exhaust manifold went like this and the bolt was up against the pipe instead of you know the pipe was like this the bolt was up against it so if I leave it in I'll be able to undo it so I'm gonna undo it like that this time um, I'm gonna zip it off real quick then I'm gonna go eat some lunch or actually some breakfast because it's only 10 o'clock so uh, yeah, so this is just the uh, video of unbox or uh, not unboxing, unbolting the exhaust manifold. Same words, different way. Um, so once I get those, once I get those tomorrow, I'll uh, do a video comparison, I guess, video, and uh, go from there. But anywho, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Go check out the video. I think it'll be somewhere here-ish, somewhere here. Check out that video, go uh, comment on it, giving away one of those quick drain drain plugs. I don't even have the box anymore, the old box, because uh, I don't know, I don't know where it's at. So go over there, watch that video, comment what size you need, quick drain drain plug. Uh, it's called a stall bus. Just comment in that video, tell me what size you need, what size uh, drain plug you need, and then uh, once I hit 2,000 subscribers, I'll go back to that video. I'll pull names from all the comments. Um, as long as you're subscribed, uh, you'll be entered to win, and then I'll do a drawing once I hit 2,000 subscribers. So, Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Thanks for watching. Later.